Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Train Driver 2. Yes, we are going to drive some trains today. Although, yeah, I, I planned something different for today. Uh, however, I failed to make it to prepare everything on time. So, as an alternative, we will drive some trains. It's it's always good. It's it's always good. It's kind of a standard, I, I'd say, that that we are driving some trains, whether that's gonna be Run Eight, uh, Train Driver Two, Train Sim World Two, or whatever the game could be. But yes, today Train Driver Two. We haven't been driving anything in in this game for quite a while. It's it's been over a month, so. Yeah, it, it would be a shame to not come back and, and, and just drive. Just relax and drive. And, and that's what I'm going to do today. But before we begin, there is one thing. There is one thing that I wanted to announce to you guys uh, so, so that you know what we are standing on. So recently you probably noticed that my streams became a little bit less frequent. <laughs> and the reason why that happens is because I started an apprenticeship and I'm, I'm really busy right now and, and therefore I, I can't contribute as much time to streaming as I used to. Uh, I'm also switching from night shift to, to day shifts and, and there is kind of a mess with everything. So uh, my apologies if, if someone feels a little bit disappointed uh, because of lesser frequency of my streams. Uh, but yeah, that will come back when, when my schedule will stabilize. Uh, at this point, yeah, it is what it is. I'm, I'm trying to make at least one stream a week. Uh, from time to time I will make it so that I can do two uh, or, or three. Uh, 
but yeah, for now uh, the frequency will be a little bit lower uh, and therefore many new projects or many new, uh, let's say, games that I would feature uh, on this channel might not happen or they will happen with a bit of a delay. Uh, it's it's really hard to keep up with uh, with let's say uh, publishing schedule of, of like uh, Train Sim World 2 and and all the DLCs and and stuff. Uh, so don't expect this channel to to like feature something right on the premiere date uh, because that that will most likely not happen. Uh, with maybe some exceptions when things will line up perfectly. Anyway. And that's it when it comes to announcements. Uh, now it's time to drive. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, Hainam. That's why you couldn't see my streams recently. I, I haven't been streaming that. Or I wasn't streaming because, yeah, because I'm busy. Uh, but that will change eventually. At some point that will change. I, I haven't forgot about you guys, so... Definitely, there will be some streams, uh, although, as I mentioned before, less frequent than they used to be. So, let's enjoy that time together. Uh, today, I decided we will drive some freight trains, and, and that's going to be the main topic of today's stream. I prepared one consist to begin with. Uh, we'll see how, how long the timetable will be for that. And when we finish, together, we will decide on the next steps, uh, whether I will try to assemble different consists from what I can find on the station. And if there is nothing, I might change it to something else. And, and then we will probably build a consist together and I will try to deliver that cargo somewhere. <laughs> I, I guess that's going to be today's plan. Other than that, let's just chill and drive. There we go. I finally found the button. Yes. It, it always takes me a while to, to find this one button that changes my scene and, 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 and does things with my stream. And, uh, I, I really need to redesign that, that stream deck layout because yeah, I, I'm struggling to find things. <laughs> the Branson train, uh, what is that? To be honest, like it, it, it doesn't say much to me. I, I'm not that familiar with American trains. However, it, it's cool that you're going to be driving that or riding that. Uh, so hopefully you will have fun. It's always fun to, to ride the train. Yes. Right. Anyway, let me just show you what are we going to drive today. Because I will be driving SM42. It's been a while since, since I've driven one of those. And they are fun. They are fun and they let you visit some stations that you would normally never see in this game. Because they don't have catenary yet and obviously it's hard to visit a station that doesn't have catenary when you are driving electric trains so today we will go with diesel yes good old diesel not the strongest locomotive ever uh, hence why the consist will be very short although it, it will be quite heavy 708 tons that's not a joke especially for that locomotive. Uh, that's why we will be also limited to 50 km per hour, which is not the fastest one. But that's a good speed to enjoy the ride, I believe. And we will enjoy. I hope. Today there are 29 dispatchers and 26 trains. Not too many trains on the routes, to be honest, uh, but I'm glad that there are 29 stations on. Uh, that will probably mean we will get some long timetables. 
uh, with that short train that that might not be the best idea but we'll see what's gonna happen all have electric station but some routes are not electric yeah that that's a shame uh, because the game is lacking uh, like diesel trains or diesel locomotives they are literally just two units that that can go without catenary there are not too many stations online and in in, in general uh, that doesn't support catenary at all uh, they they are becoming less and less and less popular because yeah there is literally nothing to drive on them uh, and if something drives uh, that's going to be sm42 or sm81 uh, which which are not the most popular units uh, to drive right anyway let's carry on shall we uh, where should we join hmm that is a good question how about Zvardoň? Uh, that's that might be very very interesting scenery to, to start on mostly because if i remember correctly at Zvardoň you have to go downhill so with this heavy train that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge i'd say yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i i i think that will be that will be a good idea so let's get going the product hello welcome to the stream i hope you'll have a great time today how are you doing okay let's say hello and let's Okay, I requested a long timetable, although probably knowing my luck, we won't get that. Oops, uh, there we go, that's that's what I wanted. And I want that. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let me now set up the camera. I think this perspective will be good. So let's save it. Now let's go camera number seven. Ooh. Am I good at chess? Uh, not really. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm good at chess, but I like to play it. Uh, definitely that's that's one of the games uh, that I really enjoy playing for some reason right chat chat it looks like we might yeah I, I believe we might have to or maybe not okay uh, for a moment I thought we might have to do run around in order to begin our journey but I think the tracks are going further so we will be good oh you're tired <laughs> that's a shame well I I guess you had a busy day so it's good that that you managed to to eat something. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while for me to uh, to play or to restart uh, my my chess uh, chess play. Like last time, I remember I've been playing when I was a like primary school or, or something and then I stopped for a while 
And now I came back to this beautiful game. And, and it's fun, it's fun. Rody12, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, let's jump off my locomotive. And let's have a look. I'm still waiting for the timetable, so... Matu, hello, welcome to the stream. Yes, uh, those were really good games. Uh, I have to admit that yeah, you are playing very aggressively. That that was a shocker for me. Uh, but as as you could notice, I, I'm not the best player ever, so... <laughs> we might try it again. I will definitely practice and, and, and next time I should be better. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where is this road going? Okay, that's 70. I'm not gonna go that fast. Ooh, that that looks really nice. Yes, definitely. I can't really remember when was the last time I, I visited Svardo in, in, in this game. Ooh, we are now getting to exchange of opinions. Like... To be honest, every single, single track uh, scenery is pretty good in this game. Oh, wow! Yeah, 1100 ELO. Yeah, I, I'm at like 600, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I really need to practice. Like, uh, uh, I, I'm constantly missing some good moves and... and it's like, ah, oh. every time I analyze the game after I finished, I, uh, I say to myself, how did I manage to miss that? <laughs> hello, Captain Michael. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, I, I still don't have timetable, so I can venture a little bit. You are at 1000 ELO, oh my goodness me. Uh, so so I guess uh, this will be a hard game, yeah. Don't worry guys, I will get there. I will get to that four digits <laughs> at some point. I just need to start focusing on, on the game. And that's sometimes difficult. Yeah, that is a really nice scenery. I, I really can't wait to to get my train moving and, and and to drive a little bit. Oh, there we go. We have a timetable, and our departure is in half an hour. Okay, so so we got plenty more time. Uh, let me just have a look at this. Ooh, that is a long one. Chat, that is a nice and long timetable. I like it. I like it. I really like it. My goodness me, chat, this is going to be a very long route for that SM42. <laughs> and from what I can see, we got some double track sections, we got some single track sections, and possibly plenty of delays. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be definitely fun. Ooh, that's a nice bridge. I'm not sure how long this timetable is, uh, I, I can only see times, unfortunately. Ooh, that's a nice bridge, yeah, 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 yeah. Too bad it's, it's in some random place, like, we got, what, a grassy hill and a bridge all of a sudden. <laughs> yep, 
Yes, I, I, I was a little bit more focused during our first game. And then, to be honest, every time I, I've i been playing uh, with you since, since our first game, I've been at work, so I just had a moment to, to pick up my phone and, and make a move. Otherwise, it would last for like two weeks to, to finish this game. <laughs> 186 kilometers. Oh my goodness me. This is a long one. Chat. That's gonna be a long one. What's my train number? 881014. It's always the same for a freight train. Let's move. Oops. I messed up and I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Cowboy, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right, I got the wrong light set. There we go. Now we can maneuver. Yes, Hainam, that's definitely a bit longer route. 85 kilometers. I, I think it was a little bit longer than that, but... Yeah, I, I think the distance between Bakersfield and Mojave Yard is a little bit longer than... 85 kilometers. Okay, my train is definitely much longer than what this station would permit for maneuvers. But the dispatcher will let me know when to stop, so... Okay, we are stopping now. Now, we will push our train.
Hmm. Let's stop it. Why did you not go? Okay, for some reason I can't change the direction. That's not good. There we go. Ah, all right, all right. I've been going downhill, that's why. That's a really heavy consist chat. My goodness me. Oh, okay, I, I passed a soft signal. But I can't see anything, so... And this patcher is not saying anything, so I believe everything is fine. Martin Tomsa, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. Yeah, the terrain is definitely against me. Uh, right, let's let's have a look. Yeah, I, I don't want to go too fast. Okay. I'm trying to not go too fast just in case the train is being sent to a track which ends somewhere because I can't really see what's behind Uh, the product, I'm not sure which way, probably in a head direction. Right now I'm just pushing the train onto a different siding to, to free it up. There we go. I believe now I can set up everything for normal drive. And from what I can see, we can already set up. Let's do it. Okay, brakes are off.
Yeah, now they are off. <laughs> come on, come on, release. There we go. Perfect. Right, so we are limited to 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, although at the beginning of the journey, the speed limit will be 40. Not too bad, not too bad. But the question is, why did dispatcher ask me to move to a different track? If he could have just let me go from shunting signal. And just instruct me to carry on. Oh well, anyway, we are on our way right now. And now we will head on without stopping all the way till the end. At least that's what I want to believe. <laughs> nah, that's not gonna happen. I'm a freight train, after all. Well, technically, yes. In practice, there is something called written order, and, and he could have issued that. Anyway. We are on our way. Which is perfect. Okay. Now we can let it coast. And we will have to do some work with the brakes. I can already feel that the train is going really fast. There we go. Sadly, this unit doesn't have dynamic brakes. At least, nothing that I know of. So we will have to balance everything with the brakes. There we go. The next scenery is now loading. And we are speeding a little bit. Ooh. That's not good. I will keep the brakes on until we hit 40 kilometers per hour and then I will just release them.
Okay, that should do it. And there we have it. Next scenery. That was a pretty short ride. There we go, and now we are heading to Chermin. This is going to be a long journey. <laughs> Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? chat we are slowly speeding up which is good almost at the speed limit not too fast not too slow Today it will be very relaxing. Five hours, twenty minutes. Yeah, that that's going to be a long one. But we'll make it. We'll make it, chat. We'll make it. Yes, indeed. That is going to be a very long one. But that is the idea of requesting a long timetable. Yeah, I wanted it to be long and it is long. <laughs> Mr. Ticklebitties, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Goodness me, I'm losing some speed, and that's not what we want. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think this cargo is a little bit too heavy for this locomotive. <laughs> yep. 
yeah this is gonna take a while uh, Mr. Tickle now uh, there won't be a railroad online stream tomorrow uh, I will be out so unfortunately the stream won't happen but I will try to schedule it as soon as possible to eventually come back to it especially that uh, I believe tomorrow is the day when they are planning to release uh, spline update isn't it Alright chat, that is all she has. There is no more power in this locomotive. We will definitely get back to it, although it will be a little bit less frequent than it used to be. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream. There are some changes uh, to my schedule. Because of the apprenticeship and unfortunately there is not much I can do about it there we go there we go chat the speed is raising finally <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Ooh, that was scary. That was really scary, chat. All of a sudden I got a red light in front of me. Okay, it, it looks like we're gonna be stuck in here for a while. weird like previous signals okay that one is showing the correct one but this one this one was green and now it's changed oh dear that was really close chat Thankfully, this consist is very short. So with some, let's say, semi-emergency braking, we managed to stop. There we go. We may now carry on. I see, that's the reason. There we go.
All right, so that's going to be a double track section, so I don't expect too many delays here. However, they might start at Grabów when we will get back to single track. Right, that's all she has. Perfect. I, I think I missed one sign saying that, that I'm approaching railroad crossing. But it's fixed now. We went past, so we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, that arrow is not moving, chat. Solid 40. Where's my speed? Where's where's the nitro button? Can I can I engage nitro? No, there is not no such thing. No rocket boosters, nothing. I I, I guess this SM42 is at its limit. And we are approaching red light again. So let's let it coast. And let's slowly bring this train to a stop. We can keep on crawling until we get closer to the signal. Although the train will stop rolling anyway. Yep, yeah, and now we are stopped. Alright chat, so we have to wait for the dispatcher to finish his actions and, and let me through. The funny thing is that if he was planning to stop me, unless there are any operations on the junctions right up ahead, why not let my train to go into one of the side tracks on on the station this way i wouldn't block the main line because right now i'm stopped literally on the main line limit is when you are able to go only around 20 kilometers an hour yeah technically uh, for, for this locomotive yeah that's true
or when I'm going downhill. That's that's when the limit is is really limiting me. <laughs> oh, there we go. We can now carry on. Jessica team, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? Right, uh, from what I can see, the next light will be red anyway. So I can't really progress that far. go beautiful my goodness me this SM42 is really struggling with this cargo Alright, so the next slide should be at the end of the platform or somewhere behind it, if I'm correct. go I really like the new sounds of, of these wagons they they really make a difference but yeah next time I will be driving SM42 I might take something lighter like passenger train for example <laughs> Okay, we can now let it coast. I can already see the red light. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is red light. Yeah, it's barely visible, unfortunately. But again, same strategy as before. I will just... Slowly crawl to the signal. Yeah, someone, someone is trying to break the rules here. <laughs> I 
177 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's that's a bit too much for EM57. That's true. Technically, this patcher shouldn't even let that train to go. Okay, for well now I'm slowly crawling to the signal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically the game will let it go that fast, although the maximum speed at which this unit can go realistically is 110 and and basically that is in line with the game rules. So yeah, someone is really asking for for a ban if, if that's gonna come out. Okay, I am slowly approaching the signal. Very soon we will be able to hit the brakes. Although again, this patcher sent me onto main track for some reason. And now he's stopping me, so... Not the wisest choice. If you want a freight train to stop and, and wait. Why not stop him on the side track where there are speed limits. Right now any express train would have to go through side tracks and those are limited to like 60 kilometers per hour or 100 while the track that I'm on has 160 kilometers per hour speed limit. Right, chat, so now we wait. I'm going to release the brakes. If I remember correctly, Chermin is on perfectly even ground, so the train shouldn't be rolling. And yeah, that's gonna be reality for us for next five to six hours depending on how fast dispatchers will let me through. Yeah, I believe that dispatcher is making a lot of a mess. Uh, let me just check it. Uh, level 8. Level 8 dispatcher. Okay, fair enough. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Dash 9. Uh, I, I've seen that pack, uh, but I decided that before I will start buying locomotive packs, I want to make the full route. So, eventually I will collect all the DLCs for, for the routes, and then I will start to expand uh, rolling stock because right now I got everything I need uh, I got access to Dash 9 I got access to, to all the locomotives it's just repaint 
Uh, so basically it wouldn't make too much sense to to get different paintings of the locomotives while I could extend the route and, and make it longer, make it bigger and more complex. Uh, so that's going to be my strategy to, to build up DLCs for Run 8. Obviously it's going to take a while because each DLC with the route is, is quite expensive so it's not going to happen anytime soon that I will collect all of them. Yes, I, I know, you have to perform some tricks to install root DLCs to, to V3 because uh, installers are searching for V2. But it's doable, it's definitely doable. Yes, exactly. But can you install it directly if I will just rename uh, exe file to v2? Uh, or do I have to like put it into a separate folder, install it there, and then uh, rerun the game installer to, to force it to copy the DLC to correct folders? I know everything will work, uh, they already announced that on the store page. Uh, it's it's all about the methods of how to install it, because obviously it, that's the part they messed up. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, last time I installed, I think, uh, Kion subdivision or Kajon. Uh, I basically copied EXE to a different folder, renamed it to V2, installed DLC to that new folder, and then I rerun uh, installation for V3 and pointed that uh, spare folder as old V2 folder, so that installer just copied uh, DLCs. Uh, but if I can install them directly, yeah, that, that's going to save a lot of time. Okay, looks like someone overshot the signal. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Looks like it's gonna take a while, chat. Samuel Demas, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. I do play Railroads Online, uh, although not right now. But every now and then I do make a stream out of it and it's a community stream so everyone can join me. Oh, I see, I see. So we still have to rerun installer and, and patches. Okay. So I think I prefer to, to have it in separate folders. And then rerun the installer anyway. Yes, I remember. Uh, in fact, you just have to reinstall the latest one, uh, because it also contains the first one. At least that's 
what I could find on, on their website. So you don't have to install it like patch 1 and then patch 2, you can go straight for patch 2 because it contains everything what was included in patch 1. Right, chat. I think I might risk taking a tiny and short break because it looks like I'm gonna be stuck on that signal for the next five minutes and I don't actually need much more than five minutes so let's do this chat let's do this I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back with you There we go, and I'm back, and it looks like, yeah, this patcher is still not ready. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that this is gonna end up in a massive disaster. I, I sense a massive disaster. Alright, nothing bad happened yet, which is good.
I, I can see that there's going to be massive delays here, chat. I'm up for massive delays. And I don't like massive delays. No, Jessica, it's like level eight can't have first day at the office. Like, uh, no, 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 no. It's it, it's not that. It, it's, it's just a mess. Like, what's going on on this station is just a mess at the moment. But we shall see what's going to happen. The good thing is, I stopped my train outside of the platforms, so eventually, even if dispatcher will make mistake, I should have a buffer behind me, and if that's a passenger train that's gonna end up on my track, if such thing will happen, it will be aiming to stop at the platform anyway, so like I, I'm not that worried although from what I can see there is a passenger train waiting to depart uh, let me just have a look at that yeah, I, I might have to wait for that passenger train. There is definitely something. Oh, no. I think he is departing now. And nothing else is waiting. So I might have a chance to very soon the part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's wait in the cabin and let's see what's gonna happen. Well, nothing happened. <laughs> Let me see. We got two, three, four, two, six, five, and I believe that is the train that is, that's in front of me. Looking at the train number, and that's this freight train that left like five minutes ago. I'm really surprised that it's still going. But on the other hand, Chermin is a very long scenery, so it might take a while. Although it would be nice to be informed by the dispatcher that 
Three train at Volanovska level three. Maybe they they have some problems. Uh, hopefully they won't. Uh, right. Although yeah, it, it might be the thing. Because technically, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect to, to be stopped at Chermin. <laughs> Perhaps Vielichovo, yeah, that, that's a good place to be stopped. Uh, Otvotsko, I, I don't think there is a risk of, of that. Uh, Grabów Miasto is probably the first scenery where I'm running into a risk of being stopped for a while. Uh, Grabu Vies uh, and Lipnik, uh, yeah, those might be places where I will have to wait a bit. Again, th there is not much I can do about it. Uh, then we have double track section at Leszczyny, so yeah, that should be straightforward. Uh, Wilkowice, yeah, we might have to wait there. 36 to 34 wow nice nice so people are joining in that's that's nice yeah it's gonna be a very long route Yet I'm still stopped at the red signal. This is taking ages today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I guess Volanovska might be busy. That's that's interesting destination to be honest, Chad. The farmer is that a new scenery? I'm literally starting to see some new names that I can't recognize. Rutnik nad Sanem. Hmm. Yeah, there are some new sceneries, definitely.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I guess I should rename my stream to expect delays. Uh, yeah, t today we are really catching some. Ten minutes already for apparently no reason, I guess. Passenger train is leaving. Perfect. Let me just grab a nice screenshot. Yeah, that's going to be good enough. That's what we are driving today, chat. We got eight cars loaded with... Uh, what is that? Chal, I believe. Yes, that was Chal. Obviously, we are using those new ones. Which are pass. Oh, there we go, chat. Success. We may now carry on. The problem is... We're late. Again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I, I believe it's still 2022, although I, I have some doubts. If we're gonna catch so many delays, I might actually cut this trip short. <laughs> My goodness me. On its own, it's gonna be five hours. So with extra delays, nope, I, I'm not doing eight hour stream. <laughs> not today, can't afford that. There we go.
chat. We are flying it. Okay. Okay. I'm reading the chat and, and like... Yes, someone literally split his train apart. How did that happen, chat? How can you split train in Train Driver 2? Like, this is a mystery for me. Wow. Oh, okay, okay. He broke the engines for some reason. How did he manage to do that? Oh well, not my problem, I guess. <laughs> For now, let's carry on with our trip. It's just been two stations that we went through. Oh my goodness me, this, this is gonna take ages. Right, anyway, the next stop is Volanovska and then Hetmanice. Hmm. Looks like exciting day at Termin. Delays, derailments. Typical day in train driver too, isn't it? This locomotive is so struggling with this. <laughs> That's going to be interesting.
Yep. It, it's gonna take a while, chat. It's gonna take a while. We are reaching the limits of what this engine can do. Well, actually, we have reached the limit of what this engine can do. Because there is no more throttle I can add. Okay, the next scenery is now loading and obviously the whole game has to stop for a few seconds. This engine is literally crying. It's just like, can't take it anymore. <laughs> ah, there we go. We are now speeding up. no way for us to give it any more speed that's the most I can get from this engine I believe we are exactly at 50 and it's not speeding up it's just like nope <laughs> Luigi Rota hello welcome to the stream I hope you'll have a great time today Today it's a cargo train or freight train.
not so long but very heavy especially for the locomotive that we are using so it's gonna be fun definitely right now we are slightly speeding but chat you haven't seen that you haven't seen that okay i'm i'm doing like probably one or two kilometers per hour above the speed limit but we are just playing catch up But at least we are moving, chat. We are moving, and that's... That means we are heading in the right direction. Although there is still a long way to go. Well, as long as there are no delays, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, I I have a feeling that this patcher sent me without consulting that with another dispatcher. I I I don't know why, but I do have that feeling. Oh, I see, I see. So, basically this dispatcher has two trains on the same track. Oh, never mind. I got a green light. Oh, it's SN81. Okay, okay. That explains everything. That explains everything. So basically there is a train on the same track. As me. He is behind me. But we should be alright. Okay, so that was Volanovska. And now I'm speeding a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I really need to reduce my speed. It's fine if I'm doing like 
five kilometers above the speed limit. That's that's perfectly normal since those trains doesn't really have uh, any speed limiter and and stuff. So obviously from time to time there will be small deviations from from that. But right now I'm doing pretty much 10 kilometers above the speed limit, and, and that's not good. Now start to drop. Welcome back, Hainam. Welcome back. Oh, okay. It is actually speeding up. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay, now I'm below the speed limit and we can carry on. Landart, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. go we're doing it chat this locomotive can still handle some cargo although yeah I, I would probably prefer to to have like su-45 or something bigger for for this one Right, so we are now heading to Hetmanice and obviously the game decided today's route, the Jessica team, today's route is 180 kilometers long, something like that and the top speed that my train can go is 50 kilometers per hour so yeah that's that's gonna take us a while Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The problem of this locomotive is that every single time we have slight uphill section, it just can't handle this. And the entire consist is just 700 tons. So, yeah, big oof. Big oof. There is no power reserve in, in that thing.
<laughs> and yet it's still doing that yeah as many other things they were not designed for a specific purpose but people still use it for a specific purpose but yeah it, it would be nice if if there would finally be some bigger diesel maybe one day Perfect, perfect. We can carry on without stopping. Okay, let's let it coast. That should. <laughs> I know at some point there there has to be. Uh, it, it's like natural thing that that it would happen. But I definitely look forward to to that day when it's released. For now SM42 will do. Okay, I, I think this is going downhill. Oh! Okay, we are going through the side track. <laughs> oh, so so you want to say that basically the model is ready, it's, it's just not implemented yet. Okay, okay. If that's the case, then yeah, uh, I definitely look forward to it. It's like probably a few months and it should be done. As long as it's closer than Simrail, I, I believe... <laughs> I believe I can wait. <laughs> nah, I'm not that good, but l let's call it a lucky guess. Oh, there we go. We got 60 speed limits. That's even better. Although the consist is limited to 50. Or to how much this engine can do. <laughs> because on a full regulator I'm barely going above 40.
Right, so, what am I pulling this time? Are the new wagons filled with... Uh, chalk. So that's... Eight... Fuss. With, with chalk. Uh, yeah, the total weight of the consist is like 708 tons. Something like that. So nothing too big, nothing too big, but the route is very long. I guess I got lucky this time. Okay, we got level 2 dispatcher. He did a good job, to be honest. Luckily, the side tracks uh, were pretty much fast enough for my train to, to go without even slowing down. Now I'm going a little bit too fast. Okay, I'll just let it coast because we are constantly speeding up and we are now 10 kilometers above the speed limit. I can't tell if, if I'm going downhill or uphill. Okay, we are on pretty much even ground, I believe. Because the speed is dropping. A little bit of horn action. There we go. Okay, so that was Hetmanice. We are just eight minutes late, uh, which is pretty good, I guess. Providing that we lost so much time at Termin. Yeah, we, we are getting there, chat. We are getting there. Okay, next scenery is limited to 80 kilometers per hour. Which doesn't really bother me. So I can't go that fast even going downhill at the moment. <laughs> okay, may maybe going downhill would be possible.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on! You can do it! Oh my goodness me. Right, so this is Otvotsko, I believe. Hopefully there will be no issues. Okay, okay, we got a green light chat. We got a. Oh no, never mind. I, I can already see that. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm guessing dispatchers are not really liking me <laughs> today. <laughs> or. Okay, okay, I, I can see green light now. We can do this, chat. We can do this. Okay, perfect, perfect. I've just been informed that we got clear route to Vielichovo, which is good. This route really feels long. <laughs> what was it? Two hours already? My goodness me, chat. It, it's taking ages and, and I'm I'm not even quarter through my route. <laughs> Very slow progress today.
go. Okay, so this part supports 120. Too bad my train doesn't. So how is everyone doing today? Like, I, I haven't heard too many news from you guys. And it's been a while since I've been streaming, so... Anything new, interesting happened? I don't know why, but today I keep missing those whistle boards. That's probably like third time I, I missed one. There we go. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, so we are now approaching Virihovo. And that should take us about 10 minutes to go through. And if we are lucky, we should finish on time. <laughs> yeah, like finishing on time with a freight train that is literally just crawling. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's it's very doubtful to finish on time, but I will try. I will try. We got two technical stops that we can skip if if we are lucky. So technically, it is possible because we are just behind the schedule right now. So there is chance chat there is still a chance okay what's that speed limit okay a hundred Yeah, one of them is only two minutes long, uh, but the other one is 13 minutes long. So that's 15 minutes that I can technically lose. Okay, never mind. 
Piany kolejarz just, just destroyed my dreams. Yeah. Great coincidence. Oh, just when I thought, yeah, everything will be fine from now on. Thank you very much for joining us, Raliev. See you next time. And have fun during your DD section. Okay, I, I definitely need to slow down and keeping low speed with this train is definitely much harder. Okay, so it's after the platform, so for now I can carry on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I, I believe if I will just let it coast, I should be alright. The speed should drop on its own. But it's not too bad, Chad. I, I'm still only four minutes late, so there's still a chance. Very slim one. But there is. Just a touch more on the brakes. That should do. Now we are crawling.
Okay. So the next signal will be stopped. So that might be a bit problematic. But it is what it is. Okay, so now I will be crawling through some really bad tracks. Let's get back to the cabin so that I have better view. I just asked for a long timetable and, and dispatcher just gave me that. To be honest, usually when I ask for a long timetable I get like 40 kilometers long thing and, and right now I got 180. <laughs> Yeah, it, it might have been done manually. Uh, I don't know. It was also a pretty good timing because uh, if I remember correctly when I started the stream there were like 26 or almost 30 stations online and only about 26 or 27 trains. So... <laughs> yeah true but the stops will be generated by situations on the track so as you can see I, I wasn't planned to, to be stopped uh, at Vielihovo and there we go I, I'm currently arriving at the slowest track at Vielihovo
go. We are just slowly crawling to the other end. Very nice, very nice. Probably, uh, I'm not sure, uh, I can't really remember who is now dispatching at Zvardoń, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely the person who was there uh, seems to be pretty skillful. Oh wow, so I'm on a track with 10 kilometer. Oh, never mind. Okay, if I can speed up, I, I will definitely speed up. Right, chat. We now need to play catch up, obviously. Substitute signal is limiting me to 40 kilometers per hour. But I'm still hoping to finish on time. Yeah, exactly. When you are constantly operating at slow speed, uh, like imagine just going to a hundred right now, even though it wouldn't be exactly legal with this consist. But we are doing it, chat. We are doing it. And I will try to figure out a method to make up that lost time. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... If you will come back around... 9 o'clock, uh, I, I should be approaching Dobrzyniec, uh, looking at current situation on the tracks. Yeah, uh, that's, that's very realistic. Because it looks like I will be stopped at Gra at Wielichowo Wieś uh, for a few minutes.
See you later. There we go, chat. We now need to slow down to 40. And it looks like we're gonna end up on another siding. go I really like this scenery there is always something happening there is always something going on around you and the scenery on its own is done really nicely like the sightings that you are going by it, it's like they are always full, there is always something, it's never empty, which is really nice. Okay, we are going to crawl closer to the signal. Just a bit closer. Okay, that will do. Perfect. Right, chat, it looks like I'm gonna be stopped here for a moment, so I will take a very, very quick break, and I'll be back with you in less than five.
All right, chat. I'm back. Looks like our route is clear. So I'm just waiting for next station to get things sorted with current dispatcher. And I will be on my way. There we go. Speaking about the devil. Go. We are moving, chat. Perfect. Right, so, uh, we got some more delays, uh, which I'm not entirely happy of, but I will try and, and make it on time, chat, that's the challenge for today, to make it on time with this thing. Okay, that's, that is all she has. Can't really add any more throttle. <laughs> nice. Right, so if there are no delays at Grabów Miasto and then if there are no delays further down the line I might be able to finish it roughly on time it all depends on dispatchers if, if they will be able to let me through I will do the rest Okay, temporary speed limit, 60, not too bad. It doesn't really affect me. Back to 90. The 
Okay, we are speeding a little bit, but nobody will notice. I, I'm telling you, chat, nobody will notice. Even though I'm basically coasting, the train is not slowing down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we are slightly speeding, but it should be all right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Grabów... Okay, okay, okay. We should be alright, chat. We should be alright. I'm literally flying this thing right now. And there we go. The next scenery is now loading. Hello! <laughs> A person with the name in Cyrillic. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I, 
I'm not that good at reading Cyrillics to, to actually pronounce this name properly. <laughs> Let it coast. Now we are approaching gravel. Perfect, perfect. Chat, things start to look nice. We we got the route. All the way to Grabovier, at least. There we go. Come on. Let's not drop our speed below 50. There we go. Perfect. We are pretty much exactly at our speed limit. Is it? Okay, two kilometers per hour below our speed limit. I believe that bit is going downhill, so I will just let it coast. Yeah, we definitely need to slow down. There we go, that will do.
Okay, we are flying it through those junctions, chat. Exactly at the speed limit. <laughs> Okay, so that was quick. And that was Grab of Miasto. Still a long way to go. And the biggest problem are those sceneries on a single track. Because most of the double track sceneries, we should be fine. There we go. Okay, we can now reduce the throttle a little bit uh, because we went past 50 kilometers per hour and I don't really want to go way too fast above my speed limit uh, if I will be going above that will be just slightly to make up some time although it's not entirely correct way to drive a train Okay, so that is Grabu Vies. And now that's gonna be long scenery. Uh, BB, I uh, can't remember what was this uh, standing for. Uh, but Lipnik, yeah, that's gonna be very, very slow route. Then we got Leszczyny. then Wilkowice and so on and so on so yeah we we might actually be able to finish it on time If 
Right, and before I forget... Perfect. Alright chat, it's time to slow down. We are approaching 40 km per hour speed limit. Now that's one of the very few moments during this timetable when I actually have to slow down. <laughs> because this train is so slow that it always goes below every single speed limit. Alright, there we go. We went through the tunnel and there is a le red light. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, we are saved. Now we need to regain our speed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Thankfully it's just a short section. 
and then we can basically smash it at 50. My goodness me. This thing doesn't want to speed up. Ah, that's what VB stands for. It was Bielsk for Biawa. There we go. Okay, uh, I've just been informed that we got no exit from uh, Wilkowice Bystra. So I'm not happy about that turn of event. But on the other hand, before we will crawl all the way to Wilkowice, we, we should be alright. Yeah. That SM42 is barely cutting it. Oh, just look at this chat. I, I can't even increase the throttle because I'm already at max throttle. And this thing is just crawling. Yeah, definitely. Far from smooth. Devils, that's a brilliant idea, you know? Uh, go ahead. Uh, I, you can jump off your wagon and, and just keep on pushing, okay? Okay, but we just reached 20. So that's... 40% of our top speed. goodness me I'm 100% sure that the tracks in here are going uphill and since I had to slow down and pretty much almost stop that's not a good thing 
I'm fairly sure this passer won't be happy about it. <laughs> Chat, we are literally crawling. Oh my goodness me. But that's also a good lesson for every single dispatcher. When you see a freight train, last thing you want to do is to change his signal at the very last moment. Because then your tracks will be blocked, not his. Well, uh, basically, his tracks will be block uh, blocked. And there's nothing he can do because I, I can't even go faster, even if I want to. And that's because I lost the momentum. If I would have the momentum, probably even if the speed would have dropped to 20. Yeah, I can see this tilt. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, if, if only I wouldn't have lost all that speed and momentum. I would be probably still traveling at 30, 40. But right now I, I can't even speed up. Okay, okay. Chat, I can see progress. Okay, so we are now at Bielsko Biała Leszczyny. 14 minutes behind the schedule. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad anymore. Okay, I, I lied. It, it, it is bad. It is bad, chat. Oh my goodness me, we are slowing down again. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that this locomotive needs a little bit of a boost in parameters. Al although I, I might be wrong, 
but it, it feels that it's a bit weaker than it should be. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, uh, and I'm back to 20. <laughs> Okay, there is a train from the opposite direction. Andrew, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. So, today we are heading from Zwardoń all the way to Liskov, uh, probably Tefama will be some sort of a siding. As you can see right now we are trying to make sure that this train is moving at all, because the consist is a little bit too heavy for this locomotive, and, and we are just barely, barely making it through. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, this thing is very slow today. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I'm sure that this patcher is just looking at, at my speed and it's like, what? Okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I'm sure that anyone who is trying to enter this route is now wondering why there is such a delay. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe because my train can't go any faster than 20 kilometers per hour. That is so slow. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm sure this dispatcher will hate me. <laughs> Exactly, there is nothing I can do about it. And that is a problem. Although I think we are now reaching the peak of that hill. So soon the tracks will go downhill and I will be able to make up some time. Andrew, uh, this is a very good uh, train sim. It is fully multiplayer, it is free and you can get it by following the link in the description of this video if I remember correctly there should be a link to the game or the game's website all you have to do is to register learn a little bit of uh, traffic rules in Poland if you want to get some help you can always ask for it on the game's forum and then just Install the game, register and play. Oh my goodness gracious, yeah, this train is crawling. This thing is crawling. Oh, okay, chat, we got some positive development. Yeah, we are approaching the red light, which means we are getting close to Wilkowice Bystra. Okay, okay, I, I can see that arrow moving, chat. I can see it moving and it's moving in the right direction. Yes. Yes. 
We are gaining speed, chat. The problem is that uh, the next semaphore will display red light and I will have to stop anyway. But we are speeding up now. Okay, we will just let it coast and let's see if the signal will change. No, obviously not. I'm not that lucky today. Oh, never mind. Looks like I am lucky. Okay, but now I need to figure out a way how to make up the lost time. That is if this train will be able to handle that. Because right now I'm losing speed again. And you know what that means. We are climbing uphill again. go once more we are speeding up chat we're getting there we're getting there that arrow is almost at 40 although the speed limit on on that bit of the track is also 40 so i will just let it coast Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And now the tracks decided to go downhill. Just why not? I'm glad that you like it. Okay. 
Okay. Even with the brakes, I'm not really slowing down. Perfect. Touch more on the brakes. And we are getting close to Zivets. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't like what I've seen. Okay, I think I can do it. Perfect. Right, basically, chat, I've been doing 60, and right in front of me, somewhere probably behind that semaphore, there is a speed limit of 30. Yep, that's the bridge. And that would be really bad to hit that, doing 60. That would be instant derail. Lelo, hello, uh, welcome to the stream, I hope you all have a great time today. Uh, how heavy is my train? Uh, it's 708 tons. Uh, but I'm using light locomotive that is usually designated for shunting. Although that's the only diesel locomotive that is currently in the game, so unfortunately there's not much else I can do. And I will have to... survive with that lack of power. Uh, because this locomotive is really slow. Okay. <laughs> no, it isn't. I can tell you that. Like, literally, for past, what, uh, 20 minutes, we've been crawling at... 20 kilometers per hour because this locomotive can't really pull that weight. Ah. 
I mean, it's it. This is slightly older model, so that's how it looks like. Uh, let me just look around because apparently you can get run over by a train in this game. There we go. Yeah, just. Ooh. Oh, I see. I, I, I can technically open it. Never mind. I, I don't want to test it. Yeah, but it's not V60, as you can see. Uh, it's, it is slightly different. And that's our cargo. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna progress any any further at the moment. And that isn't good. Oh, I see, I see. BR204. Can't remember how it looks like. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, those are normally used uh, for shunting, uh, not for long routes. Right, I can see that there is a train coming from the opposite direction and he already has a green light. So I'm probably waiting for that. And as soon as he goes past, I will be able to progress. And hopefully this time I will be able to progress without any stops. There we go. Here it comes. Yes, there is definitely a lot attention to details in some places in this game. Obviously it's not perfect and, and the graphics engine is heavily outdated. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right chat, we are moving again. Let's turn on the UI. So that was Wodygowice. We are now heading to Żywiec. Yeah, we have about 20 minutes delay. So I will really need to push this thing if I want to make it on time. Okay, and, and 
And my plans have failed because we are going uphill and this thing can't go anywhere faster than 15 kilometers per hour. Oh, okay, we are cr we are getting close to 20. Yes, and the good thing about the graphics in this game is that it's it looks nice and it will run better on older machines. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what, I, I think I would get a little bit extra if I would push my train off that cliff. Oh, and uh, Andrew, there is there is one more thing. Uh, the game has built-in uh, like a graphics mod uh, or graphics presets. Uh, let me just show it to you. It's called, if I remember correctly, post processing, and mine is currently set to autumn colors. That's why red and and green lights looks slightly different that is the default look of the game so basically now you can see that the colors are completely different the game is a little bit brighter and probably uh, green and red lights uh, will look better Yes, it is. It is very old. Okay, we got speed limit. Oh, 40. Perfect. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And obviously, as soon as I'm approaching speed limit... Yeah. It has to be a downhill section as well. Because why not? What is that location? Petrikovice. Uh, okay. It's not even on my list. But that means we are approaching Zivitz.
I mean, technically, yeah, diesel electric, although it's, it's mostly diesel. <laughs> or eventually, yeah, the engine is electric, although it generates its own power using diesel engines. Because that's how it works, effectively. Right, so technically this is possible in the game, although uh, at this moment it's not officially supported function. And there are some issues with the brakes when you use uh, more than one locomotive. Although yes, normally uh, I believe this engine can, can be double-headed. But not in the game right now, uh, because obvious reasons. There are some issues with with the brakes when you use more engines, uh, mostly because you can't really cut off uh, the brakes. There we go. By the way, I, uh, let me get back to my normal post-processing. There we go. I, I still prefer Alton. I actually like this post-processing. It's still not as good as realistic used to be, but... It is what it is. Oh dear, and once more uh, we will be going through 40 km per hour speed limits. Wow, what is that speed restriction? Oops, that was 40. Okay. Okay. Thankfully that wasn't 30. I, I completely missed that sign. My goodness me. Huh, if that would be 30, that would be a massive derailment right now, chat. And all that time would be wasted. I really need to be more careful. And we do indeed have a red signal in front of us. I don't know for what reason. But we do. Is it or Oh wait, no, 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 I, I think we might have a green signal, is it? Oh, I, I, I'm confused now. <laughs> uh, let me just see, uh, I think this semaphore is for us. Oh, 
or maybe it isn't. Oh, okay, it is for us. My goodness me. The perspective is playing tricks on me. Woo. My goodness me, chat. It's really hard to spot which one of those signals is for me. <laughs> yeah, for, for a second from my perspective it looked like this might be a signal for another train. Oh my goodness me. There we go, it is for us. Right, time to make up for the lost time. very slowly make up for the lost time. But that was Rivets, uh, we are half an hour late. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so the next place we are going to go through is Venkerska Gurka. Oh, this is one long scenery if I remember correctly. And the problem is half of it is uphill and the other half is downhill.
Hello, Mr. Guguch. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. And yes, in some instances, uh, electric will be better. There we go, and, and now I also lost connection to the station server. Which isn't too much of a problem. Because my signals were set. Oh, there we go. We managed to regain connection. But yeah, definitely this single scenery was a massive pain. It's also a very long one. Oh my goodness me. The speed is dropping now. But I believe this might be... Rajehovy Vieps. Okay, so it's still nowhere near. <laughs> Landart. Ha ha ha. I just went past Rivets. This locomotive can't beat 40 kilometers per hour on this scenery. Literally, like, there is no chance. And the next... next scenery is Węgierska Górka, which means it's gonna be even worse. So, I, I, I don't know if this thing is gonna finish this route, chat. Like, I'm surprised that this locomotive didn't die just yet, and, and, and it's only gonna get worse. I am literally crawling. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So if it's part of Żywiec, yeah, so it's still uphill anyway. Wapanów, yeah. Uh, is Wapanów downhill? That would be nice. To see something that's going downhill for a change. I always struggle to figure it out when the sceneries will change. It would be nice to have this better represented on the timetable. 
sometimes it's confusing uh, even though there are some thicker lines when the scenery should change uh, it, it's still like not indicated between Węgierska Górka and Łapanów it's not that I will give up it's it's this engine that is gonna give up on me Almost there chat, almost there. Only about 80 more kilometers I believe. My goodness me, this scenery is so long. But I have to agree, yeah, uh, thinking that I'm gonna make it on time with this thing, yeah, that, that was very optimistic. Dobrzyniec is huge, uh, okay. As long as I can progress through Dobrzyniec uh, at relatively good speed, uh, that's... That is alright. Yes, yeah, Stare Lipovo, I know that, that it can be quite large. But Żywiec is a problem, mostly because for like good 20 minutes I've been crawling at 20 kilometers per hour because this engine just couldn't pull that cargo. <laughs> That's why I still haven't left it. Even right now I'm at full throttle and I'm barely hitting 40. Okay, we are losing speed chat, we are losing speed, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
literally entire scenery is going uphill There we go chat, again at 20, look at that speed! Oh I'm gonna get more, Landa, that's... That's not a problem to get more uh, or bigger delay, especially now when when I just can't. Yeah, it's it's like timetable predicts me traveling at 50. I'm not even traveling at half of that, and this locomotive just can't do it. So I'm effectively catching even more delay right now. Not to mention that dispatcher on this scenery is probably crying right now. Right, we are getting somewhere, I, I, I have a feeling that we are getting close. And at least I don't have to worry about speed limits right now because I can't reach any. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Okay, good job to the dispatcher for setting the next light as red. That's definitely gonna help me. Although by the time I reach the next semaphore, it might be green, so who knows. <laughs> the good thing is that I don't even need to sp slow down, because I'm already too slow. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
Okay. From what I can see, uh, nope. We are not progressing. We can now let it coast. And let's stop in front of that semaphore. Oh. That's definitely gonna be difficult route. mind can I make it ah uh, come on release okay technically without stopping Anyway, I'm positive now. No more uphill, only downhill from now on. Okay, so the dispatcher left. But since he already announced that I'm my that I'm on my way, uh, technically I I don't think I need to announce it using SWDR. Uh, yeah, the train was dispatched anyway, so the next dispatcher should be aware that the track is busy. What he is not aware of is the fact that it's gonna take me like half an hour. <laughs> nah, it should be clo uh, it should be shorter now. We have pretty good speed, and we are flying it, literally, 30 kilometers per hour. That's that's very uncommon view for this thing. Right, uh, Liskov is in fact not a technical stop, it is a shunting stop.
So I will probably have to do run around in order to go to Tefama. Yeah, that's that's way too much to wish for. Yeah, that is still going uphill, chat. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I I'm also not sure. I am not specialist from from those things, but I think you add a little bit. Oh well. <laughs> I actually didn't knew that you can put that into timetable. Uh, I don't know how this was done. Okay. Uh, Landar, just a quick question. How large is Dobzhinyes? Because that took surprisingly long, for even for a train driver. I see, I see. Oh wait, we are now heading to Wapano, so okay, okay, so it wasn't Dobzhinets. <laughs> I really wish that uphill section would end. Like seriously, ah. Oh. There we go. I have a feeling that this is it, chat. This is it. That's the end of the hills. <laughs> Who am I lying to? Probably... Probably not. Okay, but we are now speeding up, which is a good sign.
Oh wow. That's an achievement to make. Nearly 300 kilometer long timetable. But for such a long route, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would at least uh, go for EU07. Not a chance I would take anything slower than that. Okay, speed limit will be 50, which doesn't really affect me at all. Nice. And now the station disconnected. That's not good. Uh, to be honest, I, I usually listen to old rock music. So we're talking about 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, but I can listen to literally everything. It doesn't really make that much of a difference to me. Okay, chat, it looks like this patcher got disconnected all of a sudden. And it doesn't look like he's coming back. So let me just stop and then I will use SWBR I believe unless by the time I will reach the signal a dispatcher will come back yeah true he might come back uh, but I don't know when. That is the question.
Right, so we are planning to go to Lublinek. Uh, is it? Yeah, I, I believe it's gonna be the road to Lublinek. Right, let's see what he's going to answer. Now I can see silence. Okay. I'm gonna give him a few minutes. In fact, chat, I think this is a perfect moment to take a short break. Because I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not obstructing anyone. So why not? I, I guess that would be a good moment to take a very very short break so chat i'll be back with you in 10 minutes
All right, chat. I'm back, and from what I can see, no answer. Let's try it again. Nothing. Oh, please don't tell me that. Is this going to be the end? <laughs> nah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, chat. We are getting further delays. And that is not good. That is definitely not good. Let me try that once more. There will be no answer. Yeah, I might have to call it off. doesn't look like we are going to progress anywhere. I don't really want to engage virtual dispatcher without making sure that the next station can accept a train. That's a shame, because I really wanted to see that Dobrzyniec. But, yeah. Uh, doesn't look good. No one even answered. Try it one more time. And we'll see. We'll see. There we go.
Woohoo! Chat! We can carry on. And we will see Dobrzyniec. But yeah, no chance that we are going to make it on time. By now, I was supposed to be past Dobrzyniec. But I'm nowhere near. There we go. Now we can speed up. Michal Wisniewski, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? Ha 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 
Yeah, you must really be tired. I'm doing great. In fact, starting from Sunday, I'm properly starting that apprenticeship. I have to move to day shift. And all my plans will be turned upside down. Woohoo! So yeah, things are going forward. Oops, uh, please. Okay. Okay, apparently that was within the speed limit. My goodness me. Chat, that would be terrible to derail after nearly five hours of, of driving Yeah, it's been five hours since I started the stream. Well, almost. And I still haven't finished that route. But we're getting there, chat. We're getting there. We are now approaching Lublinek with about, well, almost an hour delay. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But unfortunately, to, for today I had a 186 km route with SM42. And sadly, parts of that route were, well, was going uphill. So, unfortunately, this locomotive can't really handle that. Exactly. It's only Stonka. Right, the question is... Am I gonna get roots or not? 
Probably not. Yeah, chat, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get rooted anytime soon. Oh, never mind, never mind. But I will have to wait. Anyway. Question is, is Dobrzyniec online? Alright chat, it looks like we are going to wait again. slightly too fast for that siding but we made it we made it chat Sadly, because I'm delayed so much, pretty much on every single station right now, I will catch even further delay, because, yeah, it's, it's gonna be spiraling this way. Barriers are not closed. Oh, 
Well, now they do have a barrier. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's say that's a bit too late now. <laughs> Oh well, it's gonna take only three minutes. And by the way, Pavel, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today. Yeah, I, I, I guess, yeah, that's... Yeah, these guys won't be... ...happy. Oh well! Oh, there we go! We can move now! <laughs> Nobody died yet, yes. Uh. <laughs> you are waiting for me at Rudnik. Hmm. Where is that? Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, so we still got Dobrzyniec, Kruszki, Aleksandrów, and then we are at Rudnik. I think we'll be there soon. Unless one of the sceneries on my way will be uphill, then this is not gonna happen. All right. <laughs> well, that that might take a while. I'm already delayed by about an hour and right now I can clearly call it a delay. <laughs> and it's only growing each time a dispatcher stops me for even a minute. That delay is growing. Oh my goodness me. 53 minutes, yeah, that's... 
that's way too much and, and the problem is that it looks like my route is going uphill again which means that yeah as you can see SM42 like <laughs> it doesn't really have enough power to, to do it So it might take a while. There we go, now that's the speed. Now we're talking. There we go, we are now approaching next scenery. Let me just give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. My goodness me. <laughs> Right, I believe that is Dobrzyniec, yes? Oh. It almost loaded. Almost, without a loading screen. Right, so, now if I'm lucky, I will be able to go through Dobrzyniec quite quickly. Aleksandrów Kujawski is not that big. So, we might actually try and make up some time. 
although I, I still can't go too too fast uh, like, as you can see my timetable speed limit is 50 and I'm already exceeding that slightly and that can be written off as a Hassler error so I think we should be good But here we are, chat. Dobrzyniec, finally. It is supposed to be a massive scenery, so might take a while to, to go through it. Yes, exactly, we made it! And it's not long now, chat, not long now. Let me just... There we go. Now we just have Kruszki, Aleksandr Kujawski, Rudnik, Przęsy, Stare Lipowo, Zgierz. Zgierz might be quite large. Lisków, where we will perform some maneuvers. And eventually we will finish at siding at Tefama. Okay, I shall let it coast. And give it a touch on the brakes, because not only I'm going a bit too fast, I'm also approaching 40 km per hour speed limit. Potentially, obviously. It might actually be 60, which will save me a bit. Is it 50? Is it 40 or 60? 40. Yeah, it is 40. Oh no, it is 60. Is it? Ah, uh, no. It is 40. There is no bar. But at least I can progress through. 
Weisbrot, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Di Petro, hello, hello. Uh, do I like this game better than Tracing World 2? Yes. <laughs> that is a no brainer. Absolutely. Uh, like. <laughs> Train Sim World 2 will need another decade to at least match it. Even though graphically they exceeded this game by far. But when it comes to gameplay, no. <laughs> I can guarantee you that Train Sim World 2 is nowhere near this game. And to make things better, train driver is free. You don't really have to pay for it. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. I'm gonna try and keep my speed as close to the limit as possible. So that we can perhaps regain some time. Go. I believe this is a central station at uh, of Dobrzyniec. Yes, it is. And that is sixty. So I can now speed up. There we go. Kolejowy Gagarin, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Okay, that is still double track section. I wonder when it will become a single track. I don't know, Dobrzyniec, like, Landart mentioned that it should be a large scenery, but so far, like, the main station on, on the scenery was quite close, it, it didn't felt like it took me long to reach it. Definitely much faster than what was it? Żywiec, uh, yes. <laughs> it took me over an hour to, re to go through that scenery, but 
it was going uphill and, and I was like literally moving at 20 kilometers per hour so <laughs> There we go. So now we are heading to Aleksandrov Kujawski, I believe. We will just quickly pass through Kruszki. And we are speeding again. Oh well. Let's blame Hassler for being inaccurate. Okay, yeah, yeah. We are going downhill, so it wasn't a Hassler. Okay, thank you very much, Michał Wisniewski, for joining us today. I hope to catch you next time and I wish you a good weekend and, and good evening. Andrew Noble, yes. Every, uh, pretty much every single dispatcher that, uh, that we found today is a uh, human, it's actual person. Uh, same goes to other trains on the route. Every single active train was driven by another player. Because train driver is more or less fully multiplayer. It has a single player section, but let's not mention that. It's <laughs> uh, let, let's say it's a good way to learn how to operate the locomotives, but single player in this game is absolutely useless for anything else at this moment at least There we go. <laughs> well, enjoy then. Uh To be honest, uh, that's the problem about Train Sim World 2. Uh, you, pr you finished one run and, and you pretty much finished all of them because all of them are exactly the same. Apart from some other, well, from some old scenarios where they actually put an effort to, to make them. All right, so uh, we are going to go through Alexandrov Kujawski on a double track, uh, which means it should go fast. Let me just give a dispatcher a thumbs up. Is he level... Oh my goodness me, he's level 20. <laughs> Kudos to him, like... Reaching level 20 as a dispatcher oh my goodness me how much tra how many trains do you have to route like 12000 or 15 15000 something like that 
Yes, I, I've seen that. I will definitely give it a shot and, and see how good or bad it is uh, made by Dovetail. I really hope they they actually put a lot of effort into it and they are not rushing it. Otherwise, it will be a massive disaster. Yes, freight trains are the best. I can totally agree. There we go. I believe soon... Soon we will finish this scenery. And we will be on our way to... Aleksandrów, Rudnik, Przęsy and Starelipowo. Okay. <laughs> Hello spider, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Yeah, uh, that is a little bit of a delay, let's not mention that, you know. As long as it ever arrives, there is no delays on, on, on Polish railways, remember that. Like. You count delays only for first 12 hours and then you decide, yeah, well, let's not bother. Andrew Noble, uh, yes, it does. I mean, basically, what am I using is large part of the hood. Uh, obviously, you can turn on additional elements like speed hints. Uh, there are some controls, uh, believe it or not, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, from what Landart mentions in one of the previous streams. The game was originally planned to be released for mobile phones. <laughs> so the controls will basically look like they were made for mobile phones. Uh, they are not impressive when it comes to how they look, but yes, they definitely help to control the locomotives if you don't know how to use controls that are in the cabin. Like all those switches, if you don't know what they do, yeah, you can use UI to, to help yourself a little bit. In fact, when we reach the next scenery which we are about to do nice nice so if the track is locked for me that's perfect it's gonna speed things up so 
So hopefully I can push this train through. Obviously I won't make up an hour uh, of delay. Uh, by now I was pretty much supposed to be at Przensy. Uh, but we will do what we can. go right so as I promised I might show the UI uh, for this game it's it's not impressive but you can turn the hood on you can also turn on speed hints and that's how it looks like so basically these sliders will represent throttle, reverser, and if you got, uh, what is it called, uh, 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 uh. my goodness me, ah, uh, my head is empty today, my goodness me, uh, if you got field shunt, for electric locomotives then obviously you will also have a field shunt levels uh, in here you got brake controls and your horn which are the most important things that you need to operate these locomotives obviously additional things like lights and, and stuff will have to be operated from the panel but basically that's how it looks like. Okay, I, I might in fact lay the coast because I'm speeding right now. So that is the hut for, for this game. Uh, obviously I don't use that and I don't use that. There we go. And let's resume. Ah, much better. Right, I, I am literally speeding right now. <laughs> I see. Well, at some point you will have to download it if you want to play it. There's no other way because it's PC only. There we go. I know chat I'm exceeding the speed limit for, for my consist but... But there are good reasons for that, you know. Like an hour delay, uh, that's, that's a good reason, isn't it? Oh, that's a smooth one. If only every single scenery would be like that. Like, you just drive. You don't need to stop. Today's route would be done on time. Well, apart from Zhivets, which slowed me down by about half an hour. But that's because of locomotive that can't handle the steep gradients.
So, what happened in Zivets is that, well, I got 700 tons on the hook with SM42. And Zivets happens to go uphill for pretty much entire route. And unfortunately, that limited my speed to 20 kilometers per hour. Because SM42 just couldn't handle that weight. That's what happened at Zivets. Ah, oh, there we go. Here we go again, another hill. Yeah, and, and the mistake I made for today. I took Chalk. Eight wagons, which means that, yeah, that is a bit too heavy. But we are getting somewhere, chat. We are now approaching Rudnik. Which is good, and we managed to make up some lost time, which is even better. From what I can see... Yeah, 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 yeah. We were supposed to be at Rudnik exactly at 10. So, if we're gonna go a little bit above the speed limit, we might reach Zgiesh in half an hour. Right, let's do... This one, okay, so this pastor received his thumbs up. And now let's wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Can't find prefab. Your portal clone. Interesting, interesting.
Beautiful. We're getting there, chats. We're getting there. Not long now. We got two more sceneries except this one. Wow, it looks like this one is going all through the forest. That's actually well made forest, uh, I have to say. Like, it, it looks very realistic. random house inside the forest is, is maybe a bit less realistic although maybe it happens There we go. I believe we are getting close to Rudnik itself. What is this uh, tiny station? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Rudnik Struza, okay.
Oh wow, that is really large scenery. I thought Rudnik will be smaller and, and it's like... I don't know, maybe it's because we are constantly traveling through the forest and, and it feels like, wow, it's taking forever. <laughs> There we go. Oh, uh, and the next signal is a stop signal. I see. We shall let it coast. Okay, now the signal is changed. So looks like we will have to wait. Not ideal, but it is what it is. I like that. I like this bridge. Okay, I, I believe I will continue on the left track. That's alright. That's perfectly fine. Let's see. Okay. We got the signal. So, uh, was it left or was it right? Uh, right. Uh, left, left, left. Uh, I think it should be left. Might be wrong. There we go. Yeah, 
I, I hope I, I set the correct light as, as a red. I always keep forgetting if it's left or, or right one. But At least I tried. <laughs> ah, there we go. Correct light. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right chat, let's do it, let's do it! We only got Przęsy, Stare Lipowos, Giesz, Lisków and then we are going to arrive at Tefama whatever that is I have to say I really like this scenery. Perhaps one day I will give it a shot myself and, and, and jump in as a dispatcher on this one. Because I like it, it's, it's like... It's going through the forest. A long straight track. Relatively high speed. That's, that's, that's really alright. Definitely might give it a shot at one point. Okay, chat. Soon we should arrive at Przęsy. In fact, before I will forget... Let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. Really great job.
Yeah, now we are loading the next scenery, so it's a good time. There we go. Okay. It's also a good time to slow down a bit. Today is the day when I constantly exceed the speed limit and I'm still late. Come on, give me a break, game. <laughs> I have to admit that SWDR is really brutal when it comes to timetables. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so that's going to be Trent's here. And I believe soon we will get back to the right track. Ooh, and apparently there is another train expected on the same, well, on the track to my right. So that's gonna be interesting. Probably soon I will be overtaken by some express train or something. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, we can ease it off on the regulator because I'm still speeding up and I'm already exceeding the speed limit of this train. a little bit higher helps sometimes and there we go we are back at normal speed Perfect. not for my truck that is also not for my truck okay that is for my truck and that's a hundred kilometer per hour speed limit perfect
Uh, Vice Brute. I know that uh, developers are planning uh, to, to release a massive update, but when that is going to happen, I don't know. It's been pushed back some time ago. Uh, but I can't remember what was the new release date. Uh, but yes, they were planning some, some huge updates there. And possibly Steam Shunter. Oops, now I'm speeding a little bit, although not for long. There we go. I believe now we will be switching to the right track. There we go. Perfect. That was very smooth. And that was Chensi. So now we are heading to Stare Lipovo, if I'm correct. So yeah, uh, when the update is out, uh, we will see what's in it. Uh, but I, I do hope that the game will change drastically if they are pushing it back for so long it must be big uh, maybe not exactly on the same day but I will try and and have a look at what has changed and and definitely I will try and do some stream from Dire Valley uh, because yeah this game is is somewhere on my playlist <laughs> and I haven't really played it that much recently because there is not much else that I could do there uh, I think I'm short by two licenses right now uh, there is not much else to discover because I've been literally almost everywhere in that game but yeah when the new update comes out I will definitely give it a shot and, and see what what can be done Now going a little bit too fast. Oops, uh, not this button, this one. There we go. Perfect.
All right, chat, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere, but that massive delay. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Because right now, I was supposed to be arriving at Tefama. Or be close to it. Okay, that is nice and smooth. Very uneventful. Hopefully it will stay like that until the end. Oh, there we go, there is another SM42. This one is a passenger one. By the looks of it. Or at least mostly passenger one, so it's, it's probably a different type. <laughs> Landart, I'm gonna finish this one. I, I, I like to finish what I start. Uh, so, unless I I derail uh, for any reason, because I'm I'm getting tired and and I keep missing things. But yeah, I, I'm hoping to finish this scenario successfully and at least at least go. Uh, I'm not sure if this patcher will be keen enough to to let me do maneuvering, which is honestly not necessary for us to, to finish uh, timetable successfully because that's going to be the same scenery anyway uh, but yeah and I'm late by an hour so probably dispatcher if he's still there he's waiting for me and like extending that by maneuvers uh, wouldn't be nice uh, especially because it's late at night currently uh, but yeah, if it's possible, we will end up at Tefama. And that will be probably the longest trip I ever done in SM42. And I will have enough for a long, long time. There we go. I believe we are now approaching Stare Lipovo.
okay and the speed limit on that junction will be there will be no speed limit perfect Beautiful. So here we have some tracks under construction or maintenance. Really nice. Okay, and we are approaching 40 km per hour speed limits. The question is, is it just going to be a junction? Or is it going to be a longer stop? Let's let it coast because we are going a little bit too fast. Okay, so what's the speed limit there? 40. Okay, fair enough. Just perfect, chat. Perfect. And there we go. That was Stare di Povo. Now we are heading to Zgesh. And if I remember correctly, yes, Gersh is Zgesh and Liskov are basically a single scenery. So as soon as I reach that, officially according to SWDR, my timetable is finished. Even though I, I I don't reach the final station. I will still try to do it, but in case dispatcher will say yeah that was a little bit too long and I'm not letting you 
spend another half an hour messing around on this scenery, uh, then I can totally understand that. <laughs> I will, I will. Nice. Okay, let's... Oh my goodness me. That was a bad timing, as always. Because eventually the entire game freezes when the new scenery starts to load. Okay, uh, definitely I gave thumbs up to the dispatcher. It would be really nice if there would be an option in the game which I can tick to tell the game, hey, that's my timetable, load everything. And that's cool. One loading screen and I got entire route. Like, with my PC, I believe my it could handle it. Or at least, like, load it half by half. But I, I believe that this might be a bit problematic for, for programming. But this way, between sceneries, I wouldn't... Well, people with stronger PCs, obviously, wouldn't have that loading and, and all that stuff while at the same time people who are using current system and, and their PCs can't handle it they can still use it I wonder if that would be possible There we go, chat! We have arrived at Zgersh scenery. Not long now. Oh, there we go. Another lag. Ooh. Time to slow down. Come on, is this thing going to slow down a little bit further? There we go. That seems to be enough. And now we will be crawling again.
Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Green lights. Okay, we are slightly above the speed limit on that bridge, but we should be alright. Okay, and then we have Porty on next signal. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that is Gesh, I believe. Yes, it is. Right. Vasapel, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I know you can't answer me right now uh, because there is a 10 minute downtime between subscribing and. enabling chat and, and that is to protect all of you guys from bots and advertisements that I also don't want so, so most of the bots and bot accounts are not bothered to subscribe for that long besides in most cases they would probably be banned before even they will be able to say anything so yeah it works well so far With some small exceptions, though. Okay, there we go. That is a single track. All the way to Lisko. that the last speed limit that was announced was 40. <laughs> there we go. Exactly at the speed limit. Okay, so Liskov is a separate scenery, but for some reason timetable seems to be saying, yeah, it's it's the same. I, I don't know, like, I can't crack it. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. Okay. That fancy timetable is telling me that throughout entire Liskov I got 20 km per hour speed limit. But I haven't seen any signs yet. Yeah, this thing is saying 80, I'm, I'm fairly sure of that. Oh, it's only for the siding, perfect. There we go. Okay, chat. So finally, we have reached the last scenery of the day. We still have some work to do here, but... We made it, chat. We made it. 180 kilometers. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Well, it, it's kind of like a standard for my streams, isn't it? Uh, like <laughs> it's not the first time I'm doing a long route. And not the first time that I'm going live for like 6-7 hours. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. I, I really need to like find that sweet spot right now my streams are way too long sometimes and Fabian Grieve hello welcome to the stream I hope you'll have a great time today Okay, we are approaching 40 km per hour speed limit, which means that we are about to get to Lisko. And then the question is, can I just push my wagons to the right siding, or will I have to fly around or do run around, as, as it's probably more correctly said.
There we go. Beautiful. I almost thought I won't be able to see this place. But we made it, chat. We made it. Six and a half hours. Well, minus ten minutes so far. But yeah, six and a half hours. That's how long it took me to get through this route. And, and I'm going a little bit too fast here. Yeah. That would be terrible to derail on the last siding, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it would be typical for me, but... <laughs> what do I know? Ah, yes, yes, yes. It was really great timetable, although, yeah, uh, SM42 is not good for Zivjet. Remember that for the future. <laughs> yeah, Zivjet was a massive pain. Okay, I believe I can stop right now. Okay. Should be good. Now I need... Uh, why I can't do this? Okay, for some reason... For some reason I can't do anything. Oh, I see. I forgot. Okay. I lost control over everything. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Now it should work. Yep. Perfect. But I still can't click anything in my cabin. Uh, that is weird. Okay, n now I need to remember which one is which. And I need... Uh, how do I turn this one? Oh. My goodness me. Question is, why did I lost control over interactive elements of the cabin? Can anyone tell me that? <laughs> That's a weird bug. Right, uh, how do I turn on this shunting light? Uh, 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 uh. Nope. 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 Ah! Wrong moment. Wrong moment. Chat, wrong moment. Things are breaking. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I can't turn on the rear lights, I'm afraid. Uh, 
don't look at me. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like ah, uh, it doesn't work. Does anyone know the keyboard shortcut for rear white light? Oh, come on, give me a break. Well, red one works, but uh, I can't I can't do anything. Okay. Nope. Control Y is not doing this. Unless it's this control. Nope. Uh, shift Y is turning different one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shift Y is turning front left red. Not sure why it's not working, but yeah, it's it's a bit too late for me to to actually mess around with it. So yeah, not not entirely. Correct. And I don't know why did I lost control over interactive elements of my cabin. Okay, okay. There is something. No. Okay, let let me first stop. So that I won't overshoot somewhere. I wonder if that will work, no? Wait, what did I just... Oh, okay, dimmer. No, even if I... Ah, there we go. Jay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It works now. But the question is, will I be able to connect my wagons right now if interactive elements stop working? Hmm. I will have to check it. What did I do? The last interactive action that I did was to disconnect the wagons from, uh, from my locomotive. So maybe this element is bugged and it got locked. I was literally standing right next to that. So, not exactly entered between. But I might have been a bit too close. Why? Oh, don't tell me this is causing it. That That's literally the first time.
<laughs> okay, so I broke the game, sorry. <laughs> oh well, I, I guess I'm special and, and I'm causing weird bugs to happen in the game. I'm gonna check it out when I get back to my wagons, because right now there is nothing I can do, I'm, I'm still maneuvering. Uh, but yeah, worst case scenario, I might need uh, a dispatcher to help me and actually connect my wagons for me. Because otherwise I won't be able to do it. I, I'm still able to control my locomotive, more or less. Uh, as long as I remember a keyboard shortcuts. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's only with those wagons, you know, they are new, so perhaps one of the settings was incorrect and, and the bug is possible with them, maybe. Oh, imagine all that testing with all the wagons if if it happens that it's a it's a bug that came back. Okay, I, I think that's Yeah, that's the correct one. <laughs> yeah, the game has a little bit too much rolling stock, so hopefully it's just, I don't know, my PC uh, being a failure after six hours of, well, after nearly seven hours of streaming. Chat, almost there. to touch okay this works and let's see let's see yeah I, I still can't press anything in the cabin question is yeah I, I, I could actually use some normal lights so 
so that was J. Uh, which one would that be? Hmm. Okay, and K. Okay. Perfect! Perfect, perfect. I can operate lights. Okay. We can do this, chat. We can do this. Although it won't be comfy. Uh, hard controls. I believe we can do that. Uh, so, let's turn on hard. So, uh, right now I am supposed to... Yeah. I, oh. Okay. Okay, hot control seems to be working well. Yeah, I, I can press everything on the hot. But I can't use anything in the cabin. Like, entire interactivity is, is basically gone. And I'm not sure what I did. Well, apart from disconnecting my wagons. Well, at least you know what I did. Uh, that, that was the only thing I did, and after that, yeah, I, I, I just can't use anything in the cabin. None of the button works, and yeah. yeah. Hmm. What I can try to do. Okay, the game is. That didn't work. So basically what I tried to do is to minimize the game and maximize the window again, but it, it didn't work. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, still nothing. Train Vlog, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today, although, yeah, we are very close to finishing. Enter. Uh, yeah, I can put text in. If I press this enter. Nope, nothing. Still nothing. Oh, but this button for some reason works. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Where's the horn? Uh, that's a good question. There we go. That's the horn.
All right, at least the speed is perfect and I'm not going too fast. The one downside of SM42 is that the speedometer is behind you when you are driving in this direction or with a short hood end, which is not exactly the most comfortable way of driving this thing. Because you have to constantly look around, otherwise you might end up speeding or going way too slow. I, I just hope that I won't have to do any manual junctions because if insides of my locomotive don't work I, I believe things outside might also struggle to work. Thank you very much for joining us today Jessica. Have a good sleep and see you next time. A little bit more juice. My goodness me, this siding is very long indeed. Yeah, but the question is do I really need any switches? doing exactly 20 which is the top speed on this on this siding I believe there we go. and now we got some switches and this one is is this manual one yeah those are manual ones uh, Okay, I, I will slowly roll through them, just in case there is something on, on that track. But let's be lazy. And let's go as it is set. And it isn't set bad. So I might as well go to the far end siding. So I believe that this is Tefama, is it? Or should I continue further? I really don't know right now, chat. We are getting somewhere, chat, definitely. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Let's get as close as we can. Uh, 
Ah, yes, that's the building. Although the question is, should I actually reverse into that uh, that shed, uh, which looks like a perfect spot to unload the stuff, or should I just stop where I am and, and leave it for for someone else? I, I believe, yeah, it will be good. And there we go, chat. I believe this is... Well, technically that looks like a Tefama. I, I don't know why there are some wagons there. I've never been to these areas, so... Sorry about that. Okay. Oh. Also, this might be Tefama. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Signal box with this passer, I believe. Is there anything up ahead? Yeah, I don't think we will find anything up ahead. Yeah, that is the end. And this is blocked. Those siluses. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Although I, I'm not gonna test it and, and just keep on reversing and, and stuff. Uh, besides, switches doesn't work. Yeah, uh, switches also doesn't work for me. Unless this was broken one. Oh, no, okay. Uh, that one just wasn't working. Uh, this one seems to be operational. Uh, but again, since I can't really operate some of the switches, I, I don't want to test it and make a mess on the siding because somebody else might use it. Uh, somewhere in the future, in like a year or so. <laughs> All right, chat, chat, we made it, we made it. Uh, let me just take a nice photo. Too bad there is no like a command for flying in the game. That would be nice. Uh, so that you can fly with your avatar and, and take a pictures from different angles that that would be nice Raliev yes we are we are it's been seven hours since I pressed star button on on the stream well six hours and 59 minutes uh, to be to be more exact so yeah I, I guess it it is the time chat it is the time to call it a day because that was way too long okay Give a thumbs up to the dispatcher. There we go. Stash, we got a thumbs up. Perfect. Okay, let's go to main menu so that we won't block it. And now, and now, chat. Whew. That was something, chat. Nearly seven hours. Well, yeah, without like 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, so yeah, chat, it is possible in Train Driver 2 uh, to do nearly 200 km long route, even with SM42, although you need to reserve yourself at least 6 to 7 hours, uh, and, and that is heavy. Not everyone has that much time at, at his disposal, I can understand that. Uh, but you can always uh, ask dispatcher for a shorter route, or uh, be smarter than me, and for a longer route, take passenger wagons, 
take a light train with SM42, and then you would be limited to 90 km per hour, which is much easier to achieve with, with this engine. And, and yeah, and perhaps you wouldn't have like over an hour delay. Uh, but yeah, uh, I I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And if you are watching me on on Twitch, don't forget to follow. Yeah, press press that button. Uh, if if you are watching me on YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider to do so. Uh, also, don't forget to join my Discord server. Everything is in the description down below the video. And finally, if you really think that this channel and those streams deserve some extra support, you might want to become a crew member. Uh, the join button will be under the player on YouTube and you can read the offer there. Right. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.